I'm going to make a website using Sandvox on my Mac, and it's really easy to do. I started up Sandvox, and I've set up my site with a name. And the first thing I want to do is choose from one of the 50 designs that are provided. And you can find uh, something in there if you look through them all, but I'm going to stick with uh, rounded blue. And I want my site to have, uh, this first site, it's going to have a blog and a photo album. So uh, by default, it comes with a home page. And I can change the text uh, really easily just by typing it in. And that's nice because you, you can see exactly uh, what, what you're going to see uh, on the actual site. So this is the home page. Um, okay, the other, uh, so there's three kinds of uh, elements you can have on your, on your uh, site in sandbox three things you can create first are pages and there's a bunch of different page types and then page lets which are small versions of pages basically uh, little things that that uh, are placed on the on another page in the sidebar and then collections which let you do some other things by grouping together uh, sets of pages so I'm going to use two of those the web log and the photo album. Let's start with the web log. And I, again, I just replace the text. Here's my first blog entry. Uh, all right. So I got my blog set up. I'm going to go back to my home page. I want to add a pagelet. And for this one, I'm just going to use a Flickr badge. And by default, it's set up to use uh, cloud pictures. But if you click on the inspector for your Flickr photos whoops and I find my pagelet I can change that so let's just change that to Olympics and now my photos change and they'll be updated each time I uh, I come in there um, or I can choose to have just random pictures uh, show up rather than the most recent but uh, that's pretty good I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna choose to uh, look at eight uh, pictures all right let's close the inspector so I've got my home page set up I've got my blog I uh, want to change one thing on the home page and that is I want the um, home page to be listed in my uh, menu bar there so now I've got home page and blog and let's add the uh, the photo uh, album and so that's a collection and I want to choose photo album. There it is. Um, these aren't actually my photos, but good enough. Uh, some tulip photos I got from uh, the Stock Exchange uh, free website, Stock Exchange free stock photo site. And here's where it's really easy uh, to do this. So there's a media browser in Sandvox that gives you access to all your media. Um, in For photos, it can read your Aperture, iPhoto, or Lightroom libraries, and it can also find uh, photos anywhere on your uh, computer or your hard drives. So let's just make a small album here with uh, five photos. I'm just going to pick them. and then here's where it gets even easier so it was really easy to find my stuff but then to create this album I just drag those right onto the my photos uh, collection and let go and it creates a page for each image and then it builds an index so really couldn't be uh, be much easier than that okay my index page is built using the five photos and the thumbnails and I can jump to any of those pages and click through the uh, the images so that's couldn't be much easier to do alright let's go back to the home page and I want to make one other change so down at the bottom there's a default uh, bit of text here parting words and what I really want here is a uh, contact link so if you've ever done these before usually you have to do some little little bit of HTML uh, in there or you have to at least know that um, there's a 
particular way to create a link that's actually an email to an email address. Um, but Sandvox does all that for you. So I, I'm going to choose create link and I'm just going to type in my email address. Hit return and that's it. So what's what's really nice there is that I didn't have to type in the mail to colon stuff and if you don't know what that means then don't worry about it but so we can see that it uh, it fixed the link for me so it added this little mail to colon uh, part and now I'm all set so if someone clicks on that link uh, they'll they'll be able to uh, send me an email uh, my site is pretty pretty well set up uh, for now I've got it started the last step is to publish it and again that is really easy to do uh, I just need to click a couple of buttons here and set this up in my case I have mobile me and uh, has plenty of space on there because I don't use it much so I'm just gonna create a folder click continue and this is where it, it's really nice uh, it just figures out the whole thing for you does all the work checks it out make sure it's gonna work and that's it you click continue click done and then click publish and sandvox will upload all your files and when it's done your site is online and ready to go if you don't have your own uh, place to, to put it online you could always save it to your uh, computer and then move it up uh, move it somewhere later okay it's all done with the publishing it, it does take a little bit longer the first time because it has to upload everything but then when you make changes it gets a little bit easier and we can take a uh, quick look at it in the browser so here we go here's my site I can find my blog I can find my photo uh, gallery click on things it works really fast and it's uh, it looks pretty good and there's my even my contact which is uh, working so if I wanted to make any modifications let's say I decide I'm gonna add another uh, blog entry so I go to my blog and I can choose a page to add let's add a uh, YouTube page give it a title and I need for this I need to go to the inspector and add the URL for the YouTube page and I've got a video that I like I'm going to add that and just paste that in and include that in my menu and that's pretty much it and there's my video so the last thing to do would be to publish and this time it will only publish it will only update uh, what I've changed um, and add the new elements and it doesn't have to upload everything so it goes uh, much faster and let's take another look at my site here's my website and there's my YouTube page and it plays just like that pretty nice okay so that's it that's a quick website in about five minutes or so uh, using Sandvox and you can get more information at Karelia.com slash Sandvox